Uh, next will be Ms. Marcia Johnson, clerk of the court. Clerk has no report. Next will be Mr. Alan Pierce, okay. store coordinator. I've got two, sort of two reports. One from that I provided earlier than yesterday afternoon. I was in a meeting with your uh, consultants for ESA, and so I have a second report that's uh, also about a page long. That's the, I'm sorry, that's the third page. I, I okay, 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 the third page. Okay, okay. okay. we got okay. it. Uh, the first item, I'll just kind of paraphrase, because I wrote this last week when we were having problems with, uh, with the traffic signals we put down at Algar Point. I will say that it's nice to know that behavior modification works everywhere. If you're given a strong enough red signal and a strong enough green signal, people can learn to stop. So uh, the traffic signals are properly working now. Mr. Eddie Sosby is here from the AFTA uh, president, and he and I have discussed it. Uh, there was some confusion <laughs> earlier, but apparently we are getting everybody in line to stop when they're supposed to and to go when they're supposed to and go the speed that they need to go. So right now, Algar Point is working properly. So I'm very pleased that that's all is working out. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, item number two then, a restorer county update. The county RAC committee met on March 8th to finalize a scoring system to be used when evaluating projects. I am providing it as part of your packet <coughs> with a copy of the scoring system approved by the RAC. RAC, RAC members may be here this morning to encourage the board to utilize the system they agreed to. The scoring system was created by each of the RAC members making their own judgment on how to score projects and then Stella Wilson from Dewberry averaging scores. Ms. Ms. Lynn Martina did not participate in the scoring as she informed Ms. Wilson that she did not have time to continue to serve on the rack. I will say that the scoring system that uh, Stella worked on is she, she basically took the, the criteria that's in the uh, Restore Act itself, laid it out so that each criteria listed in the Restore Act as being eligible then was given points for how much we want to emphasize that particular component. So this, there was a structure to this thing and the structure is similar and consistent with what other counties, how other counties are scoring their things and how Treasury accepted this. So there was a, a logic to what we provide the RAC committee and then we let them use their own independent judgment on how to, um, to what they think is a fair uh, balance on the scoring. Let me finish reading the, uh, the, that first item one then and we'll talk about it. The commission, uh, County Commission has final say on the priority of projects, so I recommend the board accept the RAC scoring system and let the RAC move on to the next phase, which is the beginning of project submission. And so I'll expect to have some discussion here, but let me just finish this. When the RAC finishes accepting and evaluating projects for MYIP, then the role is complete. So if I advise Commissioner Jones that, is not that it is not necessary to find a replacement for Ms. Martina. The RAC is two-thirds done with their work at this point. And as I just said, the County Commission holds the final complete say on what projects are in the MYIP. So I think we need to allow the existing members to complete their tasks so that the MYP is not held up with, with a learning curve with a new member. So that being said, commissioners, in your packet there is a fairly complex um, uh, scoring system because there's an overall scoring system that is on page three, and then there are details that also would occur, uh, and they're on the following pages, but your, but your overall scoring criteria is the rack average on the final on the final uh, cat column there? Uh, it's on like Can page three. Y yes, ma'am. It ought to be. It's in yellow. Mm -hmm. It's on. It's in the Dewberry packet, and, and it's on. Down. You scroll down. It's on your page three, and, okay. and the and the average that we'll use is that yellow column on the far right hand side. <laughs> and if you see it there. Um, so we have it. We have overall uh, scoring for different categories, and then each category has sub breakouts, which I won't go through unless you all have some questions about it. I will say we added one thing at the end, so there's a, really a total of 20 points. 100% is what you see here, but we added uh, a criteria for public benefit and also for leveraging. Uh, so this is consistent with other with other local governments have done, other counties in the uh, in the area. Uh, we went through with the RAC committee and Stella and I have talked about it. So I recommend we start, we, we utilize this scoring system, see how it works out. Uh, the board has final say uh, uh, on this, but we need to proceed in my opinion. And if there's any questions, I'll be glad to answer it, but uh, this is what your, your RAC committees had uh, thought was a fair way of uh, scoring. Say it's if you want to review it and talk to me later, that's fine. Um, I'm ready to move forward with it, and because our next step would be to finish the website, get the portal open for people in the community to begin to submit projects to the county. That's going to take uh, that uh, that process of applying. I know we have to advertise for like at least 30 days. Have to give people a, a 
45 days to respond, so we're talking 60 days or so before we see what kind of projects come in. And I would like to begin to move that next phase. So we're, my goal is to try and get the MYP into Treasury's hands by November. So uh, this is really, there's always an opportunity to change scoring and a reason to evaluate things differently. But I think we have a system that will work and we just need to go ahead and see how, how it turns out. Because the board has final say. Mr. Chairman, can I ask a question? Sure. Yes, ma'am. In the coastal flood protection and related infrastructure, you've got down here that it provi provides the flood in infrastructure flood mitigation, and then you got that provides disaster planning and all. Right. But now that is an en enhances the emergency services. That's throughout the whole county, not just the coastal areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that'll be a project. Because you've got yes. the coastal, you know. Well, and, that's, the, that's how it's described in the Restore Act. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. I just wanted to make sure. Because we have flooding all over the county. That's correct. No, no. Okay. We, use the, we use some of the terminology out of the Restore Act itself. And that's what we're trying to make it simple on Treasury. So. Was, was the RAC committee, were they pretty much um, embracing this? Yes. I mean, uh, uh, Bill McCartney is here as one of the RAC members. Um, th there wasn't a whole lot of discussion. I mean, I, I will say uh, Stella might have had individual discussions with the members uh, outside the meeting. I mean, she, she contacted all the members uh, and, and talked to them and, and uh, went through this with them. Uh, so the meeting itself was just here are all the scores and everybody. Um, they, they were pretty, there was pretty similarity. Uh, in the scoring. Not everybody had the same exact balance, but it was pretty similar. Um, the city of Apalachicola's representative had, had a higher score in the tourism, recreational, fishing, and seafood category than anybody else. But, I mean, it, it, uh, it all balanced out. So I, I think we ought to try the scoring and, and see how we come out. But you all balanced it out. That's, uh, that's the main thing. You balanced it out and we, we took those areas that we were supposed to target and make right. sure that we did what we were supposed to do. Right. Okay. Pleasure of the board. I'll go ahead and make a motion that we go ahead and approve what's been presented uh, to us by the restore coordinator. Second. We have a motion on the floor by Commissioner Sanders, second by Commissioner Jones. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Uh, uh, all opposed? That motion carries. Okay, I appreciate that. And then we'll go to the next step, which will be to begin to finalize a portal so that applicants can submit projects and we can see what the community is interested in doing. Uh, yeah. That'll be the next step. So I don't know B, those inform the board that Ms. Stella Wilson, who did a great job with Dewberry, is leaving Dewberry. Her replacement is Mr. Cameron Morris. Ms. Stella Morris is going to actually work for NOAA <coughs> over in Mississippi, uh, administering some uh, NERDA projects over there. So Mr. Cameron Morris, who has worked on the Gulf County Restore uh, process and MYP, will be coming in. Uh, he is not here this morning. I did not ask him to come over, but uh, we will go to the next step of doing the project submission using Mr. Cameron Morris as the consultant. And number C, inform the board that several members of the U.S. Department of Treasury <coughs> out of Washington will be in town next week, March 28th through March 30th, to review the county's compliance with all federal regulations associated with the Restore Act. Mark Harrington, Aaron Griffin, and I will be involved in that review. So if you see people walking around with suits, uh, hopefully we're not uh, being escorted out of the county, but we'll stay here and uh, just answer questions. Uh, and number three, uh, next page, board direction on a letter of support of support to the U.S. Department of Commerce for the Tallahassee Regional Airport to become a foreign trade zone. Consultants for the Tallahassee Airport are asking the surrounding counties to support the request, which also allow the counties, including Franklin, to be included in the zone if it is established. I, had, I did ask uh, Mr. Will Kendrick with Representative Dunn's office for his opinion, and I did talk to him on Friday. He and I both had the same opinion that we don't know of any negativity associated with this request coming out of Tallahassee Airport. Uh, and I did talk to Cherie uh, uh, Keeler in Wakulla County. And she said, well, Cole County is also supporting this concept. And according to Ms. Uh, Keeler, being in an FTZ zone means that businesses get relief from tariffs and fees imposed at the federal level. Now, I don't know of any businesses necessarily in Franklin County that, that fly, you know, have international trade, but there might be some. So it's a possibility that somebody would get a benefit from this. Um, and again, when Mr. Kendrick and I talked, we didn't see any negativity of this. Uh, Apalachicola Airport's not eligible to be here because we don't have, you know, we're not an airport with international trade. Um, but that's what I know. Pleasure of the board. The state's here, Alan, you don't see a downside to it. Not, right, not yes, that we uh, may benefit from it, but you don't see a downside to it. Right. I mean, I don't know that it has any impact to us uh, negatively, but I, I really, I mean, I don't want to act like I'm well versed on this. Right. So, um, 
Second. We have a motion for by Commissioner Locker, second by Commissioner Sanders. Al. I was at the Wakola County board meeting last night and they tabled it because they had some concern with the language being negative to Wakola. And I just would let you know that just being there, I was that's what I heard was told. What what I heard. Oh, okay. It says board direction on a letter of support to yeah, I, I, my, I'll be honest, our letter was fairly similar to Wakulla's letter, um, so I don't know why they tabled it. I haven't talked to Sharia. You, uh, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm presenting this to you all, not with any particular recommendation from us, just that that came in. So if you all want to table it, and I can call Wakulla and see what they're doing, that's fine. It, it doesn't matter. No, I don't think we need to table it. You, you, done, you know, wrote the letter, just find out why they tabled it and okay. let us know. Okay. You know, because, I mean, we're, you know. If you're writing a letter, don't say anything negative about Franklin County. I mean, <laughs> it's okay. kind of cut and dry. We do have a motion and a second on the floor. Any further discussion? All those in favor? All right. Aye. All opposed? That motion carries. Okay, all right. And let me go to the next item, which was a meeting of um, yesterday afternoon. And it's, on, it's, it's, it's attached to your report there. This is the summary of the meeting uh, that I had, uh, and Chairman uh, Paris joined me for part of the meeting with the ESA consultants about the consortium and the state expansion plan. On Monday, March 20th, a consultant from ESA to the Gulf Consortium visited Franklin County to discuss the status of projects Franklin County has proposed to be on the State Expansion Plan, or known as the SEP. In attendance from ESA were Melissa Boudreau, Lisa King, Pam Latham, and Brian Flynn. Doug Robeson was not able to make the meeting. Chairman Parrish joined me for part of the meeting and to discuss the status of the industry in particular. On behalf of the county, I related the, I related the four projects that Franklin County would like to see included in the SEP. They are construction of a new EOC, dredging the East Point Channel, dredging the Two Mile Channel, which is known as the Creekmore Channel, and a large-scale oyster recovery project. According to the consultants, all of these projects are eligible for funding. The challenge of Franklin County, and to all counties, is that the governor, who will be presenting the SEP to the Gulf Council, which is this federal uh, basic agency, for approval, may have a different opinion on the order of priority of the projects. And I say this because while we may see the EOC as our number one project, that's not how it may be ranked when the state, when the governor gets finished with it. I just want to put that out there. We are not controlling the ranking. We can submit our projects, but there are other, other factors at play that may affect what is promoted uh, first. Before the SEP is submitted, the governor will hear from his state agencies on which county projects are eligible for matching funds or leveraging from other sources. It is likely that projects for which the state can get additional funds to complete will be ranked higher on the SEP. Another competing problem for Franklin County is that some counties have informed the consultants that they intend to bond their share of consortium funds and take the risk of getting consortium funds over the 15-year payout. Franklin County does not have the financial resources to bond our $13 million. So unless, this takes, so unless the state takes on bonding for everyone, which is very unlikely, then Franklin County and other small counties who do not have the revenue stream to bond their payments may be at the end of the funding cycle over the 10 to 15 year period. We just don't know how this is going to shake out. But uh, if you bond your money, then you might get uh, preferential treatment. Uh, these are the issues that the, the consultants didn't, couldn't finalize because it's unknown how it's going to turn out. But I am concerned about that. I'm concerned that uh, the small counties will be pushed at the end of the line. In the discussion of the project specifically, though, ESA thought that Franklin County projects had good projects and would pursue them on our behalf. The construction of a new EOC and the dredging of the two channels are pretty straightforward projects, so most of the meeting was spent talking about the oyster recovery project. And, and the chairman may want to add more than I have here uh, if he wants to. The project would have four components. Shell planting, a spat hatchery nursery to enhance spat production, enforcement, and monitoring. So the chairman joined me for this discussion. The consultants thought there was a good chance that the state would provide some matching funds for an oyster recovery project, so they were going to discuss various options and strategies with DAX and FWC. The consultants planned to make some general comments about our projects at the April consortium meeting in Tallahassee with further, refinement, with further refinement over the next few months. The consultants said it was their hope the SEP would be on the governor's desk by late fall with the expectation he was submitted to the Gulf Council in early 2018. So I say, commissioners, we have sort of two challenges. One, I think all four projects we're talking about will be in the SEP. The challenge that we have to think about, and it will be over time, is what's going to get approved first? The, the state SEP, which will give us funding for some of our projects, or our own local restore plan? I mean, both these projects, both these sets of funding opportunities are going to be into 2018 now. And which one is going to get approved first? The SEP through the Gulf Council or our restore plan through Treasury? I mean, I, we just don't know. So we have to kind of, 
as you all learn and go to consortium meetings and go to your FAC meetings, you know, you might get a better sense of, of, of what the pathway is, is most open. And that's my comment list. Uh, Mr. Chairman, you want to add anything about the Worcester Project? I think he did a good job explaining everything, Alan. You know, there was a productive meeting with the consultants and you know, highlighting some of the things that we need to do to try to help our Worcester industry recover and, and get it back to where these people that work on the bay can make, make the living they need to make for their families and all. So I, I think it's a good step forward. <coughs> well, what I was surprised at was that the governor may alter. I, I was thinking that the, what, what the county submitted projects and the projects were going to put in there as we saw fit, but that may not be how it turns out. Mr. Chairman, may I comment on something? Yes, ma'am. Um, you know, myself and Alan discussed this yesterday, and if you all remember back, the actual event happened in 2010. We're sitting here looking at almost 2018, and other than little money's trickling down for this and that and the other, you haven't, we haven't had any. Um, it concerns me greatly because I don't, I'm like you, Alan, I do not see the state of Florida approving the bonding. Um, and Franklin County has not got that kind of money to support that kind of bonding that needs to be done. So unless we get a fast track with money, these projects are going to take years Right. If they ever do, because if you remember, the legislature is dealing with some of the triumph committee stuff this year, so we won't really get a good feel of it until after the legislative uh, legislative session in May. So then you're not going to know anything. I know we have a big alliance up at the state level and different different organizations that support small counties like Franklin County, but they're only bound by so much too. So, I mean, in other words, I'm trying to warn people to, to work into it cautiously because this is something that has not happened overnight right. and it's not going to be cured overnight. Right. I felt the same thing. And this is one thing. But, but I agree completely with your four things that you listed, you know, the EOC, the two uh, 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 restoration projects, and then the oyster restoration project, too. But if we can get that East Point channel done and then permitting and, and do... Uh, create more channel that'll be good that'll be good okay well we'll play it out there's, there's, a, there's a, just so let you all know there's a consortium meeting in tallahassee i didn't i didn't realize this and, uh, commissioner sanders you may know this uh the consortium meeting in tallahassee i know you know about but then apparently for may and june they're going to be back-to-back -back meetings of the consortium i mean every month for the next three months yeah we're trying to move this project forward and get it presented to the, the governor i mean we've got a deadline right but it okay. sounded like the two Next two meetings will be in North Florida instead of South Florida. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tallahassee, and then they said destined for the uh, maybe mm -hmm. for one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, we're going to have it over in Walton County because we never have took the consortium meetings oh, to good. that part of the county. I mean, the state, which is good for us because we usually have it down south. So uh, it, it'll be it'll be nice. Yeah, yeah. It'll be nice to be able to travel, not have to travel so far. Okay. Thank you. The board the board recess five minutes. Thank you, Chairman.